Let's go to uh, Craig Latta's blog. He's going to re-release an updated version of Spoon. And one of the things he's done is create some wonderful visualization tools. That's an image of the Spoon virtual memory. Virtual memory is another way of saying the image. So he's created a wonderful um, interactive image of the virtual memory and we can download the uh, file he's created for that and the application called Walrus 3D for looking at that. Now go to the uh, site here and download the file I'm going to hit. Your computer has to have the Java Developer Kit and Java 3D, which I think come installed um, automatically on the Mac. You can uh, download Java 3D pretty easily. Anyway, that's what you need to get started. Then you can get into the Walrus directory if you can learn how to type and there we are there's the directory now dot walrus and an ampersand because I can't type I have to do it twice so then walrus pops up it's the tool we open up the file that's the file we downloaded from his blog then we start it. So there's an interactive 3D map of the virtual memory that is Spoon coming soon on March 20th, 2011. Now you have to get uh, kind of aware of what your mouse is doing. A three button mouse is preferable. If you've only got a two button, you know, there's primary, secondary, and you might want to consider where the button 3 is going to be. You might have to leap back and forward. So there's the center point at which we revolve around. We can make we can right click any of these nodes and make that the center like that. Now we can rotate around that point. So we've got these fascinating blooms. I wonder what they are. So let's choose one of these nodes and get, us, get it to tell us what it is. So we click it and we get a red dot and I realize, oh yeah, I forgot to put the labeling on. So node label description and then update. Then I think your third button, if you click on a node, will tell you what it is. So we'll hit that bloom there. Right, so there's the hex address in the actual memory, and in there is 0.0, .0 which doesn't tell me heaps, but... Choose a point to make the center. Say that one. So I start hitting nodes and it'll start telling me what is there a large positive integer a large positive integer Now I'm going to move this around a little bit to try and get under that bloom to find out what the core point center point is of that bloom there we go should be able to access the center point now there class positive integer right so all these uh, petals of the bloom are instances of class there are instances of class positive integer. I mean, you know, this is really cool computer science stuff, dude.